Cells have the capability to effectively utilize biocatalysts, known as enzymes, which have outstanding catalytic efficiency and pose substrate and reaction specificity. Do you know enzymes have a catalytic efficiency and also have substrate reaction specificity? Enzymes have an amazing catalytic power and their high level of specificity for their substrate makes them suitable for biological reactions. They are crucial for cellular metabolism. Each and every chemical reaction that takes place in plants, microorganisms, and animals proceeds at a quantifiable rate as a direct result of enzymatic catalysis, okay? Now let's look again their significance. In the absence of an enzyme, biochemical reaction hardly proceeds at all. Whereas in presence, the rate can be increased up to 10 to the power of seven fold. Thus, they are crucial for normal metabolism of living system. In our previous class or lesson, we said that enzymes speed up the reaction. Do you see? The rate of the enzymatic reaction increased by 10 to the power of seven fold, seven times, okay? Thus, they are crucial for normal metabolism of living system. Enzymes are currently being used in diverse areas, in food processing industry, in paper industry, in laser making industry, in agricultural and textile industries, resulting in major cost reduction. Their use is in a diverse sector. Simultaneously, rapid scientific progress is now encouraging the chemistry and pharmacological industries to embrace enzyme technology. An enzyme technology, a trend supported by concern regarding energy, raw material, health, and the environment. The 
Besides in the body, extracted and purified enzymes have many applications. One of the most common advantage of enzyme is their ability to function continuously. Their ability to function continuously. That is to mean that they can be used over and over again, even after their removal or separation from the cell. Enzymes, enzymes, even after separation of cell from the vivo environment, okay, the natural environment, when separated and extracted out, they continue to work efficiently under in vitro condition outside the body. They can well functional even outside the living system. We can conclude that these biocatalysts remain in an active state even after their isolation or separation from their source. Principally, enzymes are non-toxic. They are non-toxic, biodegradable, and can be produced in ample amount by microorganisms for industrial applications. Look, this is the typical property of enzymes. They are non-toxic, biodegradable, and they can be produced in a large amount by microorganisms for industrial applications. The isolation, production, purification, utilization, and application of enzymes in soluble and immobilized or insoluble form is one of the practical advancement of biochemistry. That is to mean that simply, this time, enzymes can be isolated, purified, produced in a large scale, okay? Either in a soluble form or in insoluble form for practical application in a biochemical industry. Procedures such as recombinant DNA technology and protein engineering are frequently used to produce more efficient and beneficial enzymes. The industrial production and utilization of enzymes is an important part of industry. Of course, there are so many interdisciplinary collaboration between areas of knowledge such as chemistry, process engineering, microbiology, and biochemistry is required to develop the best possible enzyme technology and eventually to achieve increased production and maintain the enzyme's physical chemical properties under in vitro environment meaning that out of the site they are extracted from, just in a normal condition. Now let's look, industrial production and utilization of enzymes. If you look uh, the, the, the current report about enzymes, several enzymes are produced industrially. There are significant applications in food industry, about 45% of use. Look, the enzymes which are involved in food processing industry is about 45%. In detergent industry, 35%. In textile industry, 10%. And laser industry, 3%. Now let's look the pharmaceutical applications of enzymes. Currently, enzymes are often utilized for a broad range of application in the pharmaceutical industry. For example, washing powders, washing powders, protease, lipases, and amylases. The washing powders, the washing powders, and the detergents. Okay the washing powders and the detergents are one of the most important 
applications of the pharmaceutical industry. The textile manufacturing industries are also using amylases and catalases to remove the starch. The laser industry uses protease to hydrolyze proteins from the laser. The paper industry also utilizes many enzymes and that is in turn improves the environment. Food production or food processing industries, say for example, enzyme modified cheese or butter processing. Glucose oxidase for dough strengthening and preservation and medical applications. All these are some of the applications of the pharmaceutical industry. Now let's look the medical application of enzymes. A number of enzymes are used for medical purposes. Some have been useful in treating areas of local inflammations. Trypsin is employed in removing foreign matter and dead tissues from wounds and bones. You see, trypsin is employed in removing foreign matter and dead tissue from wounds and bones. To treat enzyme-related disorder, enzymes are involved. To assist in metabolism, enzymes are participated. To assist in drug delivery, all drugs are delivered to function in the body with the help of enzymes. To diagnose and detect disease for laboratory purpose. In manufacturing of medicine and in many diseases, the activity of one or more enzymes is abnormal. Many drugs act via binding to enzymes. Many drugs are given to the uh, patients to work by binding with the enzyme, with the enzyme. Now let's look at the industrial application of enzymes. The industrial application of enzyme include amylase, lactase, cellulase. These are enzymes used to break complex sugar into simple sugars. The complex sugars are changed into simple sugars. Pectinase, like enzymes, which act on hard pectin, is used in fruit juice manufacturing. Lipase enzymes act on lipids to break them in fatty acid and glycerol. Lipases are used to remove stains of grease, oils, and butters. That is the enzyme which is found in washing powder, terda. Enzymes are used in detergents and washing soap. Protease enzymes are used to remove stain of protein, nature like blood, sweet, and etc. Now let's look at the diagnostic application of enzymes. Enzymes have been used widely in diagnostic applications, varying from immunoassay to biosensors. That is to mean that the chemical analysis using disease and antibodies, a technique for measuring the amount of antigen and antibody in tissues. All these are very helpful for the determination of the disease. Under a laboratory condition, enzymes are used for screening procedures. For example, the examination of enzyme quantity in the extracellular body fluids, the blood plasma, serum, urine, digestive juice, or amniotic fluid, and the cerebro, cerebro spinal fluid. All these are very important to the clinical diagnosis and management of disease. Again, 
Most enzymes catalyze the reaction occur with the living cells. However, when an energy imbalance occurs in the cell because of exposure to infectious agents like bacteria, toxins, and etc., enzymes leak through the membranes into the circulatory system. This causes their fluid level to be raised above the normal. Okay? Therefore, estimation of the type, extent, and duration of this raised enzyme activity can then furnish information on the identity of the damaged cells, indicating the extent of injury. Disease and enzymes used in diagnosis. Enzyme examination is used to diagnose several diseases such as the disease of liver and gastrointestinal, enzyme application used in heart disease, skeletal muscle disorder, including disease of the muscle fiber, known as the myopathies, or of the muscle nerve, the neurogenic disorder. All are diagnosed by using enzyme. Enzymes in therapeutic for the treatment. Enzymes have two significant features that differentiate them from all other types of drugs. First, enzymes frequently bind and act on their targeted sites with high affinity and specificity. Second, enzymes are catalytic and convert numerous target molecules to the desired product. These two important features make enzymes specific and potent drug. The role of enzymes in digestive disorder and inflammations. Enzymes play an essential role in the management of various digestive disorders. The supplementation with enzymes may also be advantageous for other conditions associated with poor digestion, such as lactose intolerance, one of the most difficult problems for those people who cannot use lactose, milk sugar. Now let us summarize the industrial use of enzymes technology. If you look at the table carefully, enzymes are involved in dairy industry, in milk processing industry, and uh, they produce lactase to produce lactose-free milk. In detergent industry, that means in soap and uh, washing powder, in textile industry, uh, food processing industry, pulp and pepper, in medicine and pharmaceutical industries. Enzymes technology also very useful to global warming. An industrial process that involves enzymes allow the reaction to be carried out at much lower temperature. They are used to reduce, to reproduce less energy and therefore less money is spent on heating the reactant. Therefore, therefore, because less heating is required, less carbon dioxide is produced, and this can benefit the environment, as the carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, and its accumulation in the atmosphere can lead to global warming. Very fascinating. Enzymes involved in all of our life processes. They are involving in medicine, they are involving in industry, they are involving in uh, environment, they are involving in our day-to-day uh, -day life. They are very, very important chemicals. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.